yeah i feel like this this series today is mostly like simple looks like less is more type of a look i feel like if i could have any bag right now if somebody was like pick a bag hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl sierra hey, yeah. i am so happy to be back with my favorite photos that i've taken off guard of the week video i think this is like i i don't know what episode this is but it'll be in the title of course but yeah it's sunday y'all and without further ado we gonna hop right into it be sure to give this video a like before you leave if you enjoy what you see here so this first look y'all is given neptune's presents the sound i wish just from it you know i want you babe i'm ready to bet it all don't mind if i'm going on i wish just run it it's so simple um this person didn't want their face in the picture but they allowed me to take a picture of the look so thank you so much in case you have seen this video but yeah as you can see they're just wearing a very simple little white beater with a little baggy trouser and i love how they folded them over too is giving this effortlessness to the look and body was bomb like complexion with these tones was bomb everything was just bomb i love too that they didn't over accessorize just wearing wearing a very simple little gold little necklace and this is one of those looks where it's like less is more like it's not doing a lot but it's saying something i guess this is a little double a uh, duo here but uh yeah i seen these people when i was waiting for my coffee and i'm like i just gotta get it because first off the person with the floral dress on and the air max to me that's just so classic i feel like you could never go wrong with sneakers and like a moo, moo dress <laughs> especially if it's giving you a little waist like like it's doing for this person right here i feel like the the length of this dress too with the air max is what really makes it like fashionable because i feel like if it was any longer obviously you wouldn't be able to see the sneaker and it just wouldn't give the same vibe so i just love that the dress cuts them off like right before the ankle and then the other person i was really impressed by mainly because they were shorter than me and y'all know i work in retail and i've talked to people that are shorter and they always like oh i can't do baggy like it makes me look stumpy or it makes me look like da, 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 da. and it's like no it's like it's just about the proportions as you can see the look in its entirety is like oversized shirt and an oversized trouser and it works it works mainly because the trousers that they're wearing i feel like it's cut off again at the right place it's not a lot of bag at the bottom it's just a little crop with the bagginess with the white shoe it was just a whole of vibe look like they like artists or something i don't know they look super cool but yeah next look is the this lady actually is famous I'm like a famous stylist my friend told me i think for like vogue or something i don't know i'll pop up her information here but anyway i don't y'all know i don't be knowing nothing about these people i'm just solely just looking at the looks and firstly what got me was they're both wearing like neutrals i feel like them walking down the street was just like a total vibe they, their looks totally complement each other um and it also gives me this la mer vibe too with the tones that they're wearing and also with the proportions the silhouettes of the pieces that they're wearing especially her is giving super la mer and again super simple just a little turtleneck little little shirt and a trouser and i feel like if someone was to say oh what are you wearing a turtleneck and trouser you think so boring but to see this look in its entirety is so chic and then getting into this person here um i was actually in brooklyn where brooklyn at where brooklyn at where brooklyn at and yeah i see this person walking down the street and i was like oh my god i had to get this get my phone out usually i don't take pictures of people when i'm with my friends but i had to get a look at this person because in case y'all don't know in case you're new here to sierra parker channel y'all know i'm bald right but if i did have hair and i could have my hair of choice it would be a bob any type of a bob an afro bob a straight bob any type of wavy bob i just love bobs i think bobs are just the just she can see it. anyways i was just here for this look in its entirety mainly because this is something that i would totally freaking wear a simple little you know little strappy little mini skirt and a little flip flop and a little flip flop i'm gonna link my video up here because in a video that i posted last year i was saying how a flip flop is just so necessary to any type of look that you want to make more effortless yeah i feel like this this series today is mostly like simple looks like less is more type of a looks and next look we're gonna get into is this neutral look it's giving banana pudding and i 
mainly liked it mainly due to the textures. The texture of like the nylon trouser up against the cotton t-shirt. And then they got on the vintage and Treciato Bottega bag, which I'm obsessed with. I love this freaking bag, y'all. I feel like if I could have any bag right now, if somebody was like, pick a bag, it would definitely be a old Jody from Bottega. I just feel like the Entresiato weave, it just looks so good and it ages so well over the years. And and I say this because I've seen people with bag, Bottega bags that they've had literally since like early 2000s or the 90s. And it just gets better with time. This is one of those bags that gets better with time. And I love how they have it styled to just a super simple look. Because I feel like sometimes when you think Bottega or La Mer or The Row, you think like, oh, I have to be super formal looking. But this look here, as you can see, they're wearing freaking sneakers and like nylon trousers. And it works. So, yeah. It's just one thing that got me crooked. It's just one thing that got me flipping. It's just one thing you can, oh. That is what I thought of when I seen this look. It's super early 2000s. I love the little mini skirt with the little heels. I feel like the heels probably like a little vintage Gucci or Ferragamo. I don't know, some type of vintage shoe moment. And then with the sample little halter top, I just thought again, this look is sexy without overdoing it. The little box braids land nicely. It was just a beautiful little summertime look to, I don't know where this person was going, but if I was wearing this, I would be going out to dinner. And then after dinner, I'm going to get a little drink. Look, this is actually the last look and I am definitely saving the best for last in this case because get into it and i have known this person actually since i first moved to new york we used to work together and she is the absolute cutest and um i always look up to her she's a little bit older than me but anyway her style is super and she would come to work dressed every freaking day and me coming straight from chicago i feel like i don't i didn't dress then how i do now and she was just the person that i looked to like oh my god like i really want to dress like her like <laughs> It, she she just always was big on details, kind of like how I am, but even more so. And she just looked really good every day. She just never was doing the most. As you can see, like this look is the perfect uh, look that I would say sums up her style, which is super elegant, super clean, super chic, and just super freaking good. I forgot to ask her what the dress is, but I know the shoes she said are Camper Lab, and I'm like, Meredith. These shoes are everything. Like, I really, really want to steal these shoes from her, but I can't. I feel like I need to let her have the moment, but I'm just like, I really want these shoes. Like, I really want these shoes. So I'm going to think on that. I'm going to let that marinate for a minute. But anyway, they, I know that they were on their way out to dinner and drinks, and I'm just like, this look is just superb. And to Meredith is one of those types of people who gets that you don't have to show a whole lot of skin to give sexy vibes. As you can see, she's not showing much skin and definitely giving sexy okay yeah y'all so that actually sums up the video for real for real i hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up i'll see you guys tomorrow because i have a video that i've been editing all week and i'm super excited to drop it tomorrow so be out on the lookout for that and i'll see you guys on my next one